Well, yet another game. Oh, by the way, thank you to Philip Wrestler for the subscription here that popped up on my Streamlabs. We still have the Wolf of Wall Street Matthew McConaughey gif. But today, we have ourselves a Vancouver Canucks game against the Dallas Stars. And one of the big pieces of news in regards to the lineup is that the Vancouver Canucks will go with the same lineup as last game against Nashville. Meaning that forward Andre Kuzmenko will be a healthy scratch once again. Now, as I had said in the Canucks and Preds post-game video, I did not actually end up watching that game because I was out and about doing other stuff, but Andre Kuzmenko being a healthy scratch didn't really matter in the grand scheme of things because they won the game and they looked pretty good, convincingly so, in the process. This is kind of where we talked about the depth of the Canucks lineup, and we alluded to this in yesterday's video, talking about Pia Suter as well, that even though you have a guy like Kuzmenko, 70-point player last year, 39-goal guy last year, even though he has gone out here and struggled pretty heavily in 23-24, this Canucks team can still win without him, even if he's making $5.5 .5 million a year, even though he was supposed to be a top-six caliber guy that is... I mean, producing like a top six caliber guy, I don't think 46 points in 78 games as a production pace is necessarily bad. It's just, for Andre Kuzmenko, we recognize that the game he's playing this season is not as good as he had last year. He is slumped, he has not really produced as many points as he had, he's starting to look a little bit more, let's just say, tentative, he's holding back a little bit, he's not shooting as much as he has. He has the odd game or two where he comes alive and he starts forechecking and backchecking and shooting, but it's been a process here for Kuzmenko in 23-24. So what I wanted to do in this video was go over a few perspectives as to what Canucks fans are thinking in regards to Kuzmenko and his game, the response to him getting scratched again, and some comments made by his agent about this entire process that sort of shed some light as to what Kuzmenko and his party are thinking about this entire thing. I get it, you could say, oh wow, the agent is speaking out, eh? I wonder what bad things he has to say. No, it's nothing like that, it's actually a pretty good thing. So, heading into tonight's game against the Dallas Stars, I'll say this first and foremost, that for Andre Kuzmenko, this lineup that beat Dallas was so good that two nights later, also, on an away game, there is very good reason to just keep the same lineup and to give Kuzmenko a little bit more time to sit in the press box, watch what's going on, and just allow him to absorb everything. There have been people talking about how because this is specifically an away game in Dallas, it would make sense for Kuzmenko not to come back just yet because... Rick Tockett will not have the opportunity to protect Kuzmenko with the last line change. I didn't really know if this is a big piece of common knowledge, but home and away actually does have some advantages in the NHL because the away team is not allowed to put their lineups out there after the home team does heading into faceoffs. So if the Canucks have a defensive zone draw and Andre Kuzmenko line gets sent out there, Rick Tockett has to send them out then the opposing team can say, all right, well, the Kuzmenko line is out there. Kuzmenko hasn't been great defensively. Let's send our top line out there. And if it was in Rogers Arena, the Canucks could respond to that by saying, okay, well, the other team is sending their top line out in this offensive zone draw for them. We have a defensive zone draw. We'll throw out our Pia Sutar line or whatever. So there is a very legitimate type of strategizing that you can have in the home and away matchups in the NHL. And Andre Kuzmenko being sheltered under home minutes would actually be beneficial. Plus, the team played really well against Nashville. You want to keep that same lineup. You don't want to throw somebody out after after having a great game two nights ago in Tennessee. So, let's go out there and read some extra perspectives in regards to this Kuzmenko thing, starting out with what Kai Talks Canucks went out there and said. This was from yesterday. Kuzmenko was re-signed because of his performance with Petey. He needs to be given opportunities in the top six if he's ever going to regain confidence. He's not a fourth-line checking winger. He'll never be that. Taka shouldn't even try him there. Either play him top six or nothing at all. A response to this that I liked a lot was posted by Daniel Wagner. Tockett isn't trying to turn Kuzmenko into a fourth-line checking winger. He's trying to turn him into a more complete top-six winger. 
Whether it'll work out or not, we'll have to wait and see. And this is one of the things that I think Canucks fans have to remember about Kuzmenko. He's not being tossed onto the fourth line because he needs to be a fourth line caliber guy. He's getting tossed onto the fourth line to pick up habits that fourth liners exhibit because we already know that the talent and the scoring and the point producing is there with Kuzmenko. You're never going to see Kuzmenko put up the same stat line as a guy like Sam Lafferty or Dakota Joshua. The fact that he had his first season in the NHL with 39 goals already proves that he's a step above those players. But when he is playing an incomplete game and he's not scoring on top of that, that's when you need to say, all right, he needs to kind of work on things to round everything out. Here's another tweet from Grady that I liked a lot. What should the Canucks do with Kuzmenko? Sakarison Price asks. Grady says, patience. Kuzmenko is in his second full season adjusting to the NHL game. There's no point in selling him low right now. Give it the full season through. Can't teach the talent he has, but there's no denying he needs to fix his game. Want to see him with Elias Pedersen again? We'll work through it. Now, there were rumors talking about the Washington Capitals and how Kuzmenko is a target of theirs, and we didn't make a video about that. I guess we could talk about that sometime later in the week. But for now, Andre Kuzmenko, the best thing we could do is just have patience with the guy. Rick Tockett is having patience with the guy. And when it comes to the scratching multiple times in a row, we had ourselves some comments made by Dan Milstein that I actually liked a lot. So this tweet was made by Joshua Griffith from yesterday before Andre Kuzmenko got scratched a second time against Dallas tonight, I just spoke with Andre Kuzmenko's agent Dan Milstein and asked him about his client and the recent scratches with the Canucks. Milstein says this, There is absolutely no disconnect between the coaching staff, management, and our camp. We communicate daily. We have a plan, and everything is going to be okay. Andre is very happy to be in Vancouver, and with a few minor adjustments, many victories and goals are ahead. And this is really interesting to hear the agent of Andre Kuzmenko, who admittedly has a personality himself. I'm pretty sure most people are familiar with Dan Milstein. He's been kind of a cool figure in the hockey world the past few years, especially since he's got all these guys, Mikheyev, Zadorov, Kuzmenko. I'm pretty sure he's Pud Colson's agent too. He's the guy for Russian players in Vancouver. But with Dan Milstein having this client, just signing him to a $5.5 million AAV contract and then seeing his client struggle the way that he has, only to say, yeah, no, we're fine. No disconnect. The coaching staff, management, for us, we communicate, we talk, we have a plan. Everything is going to be all right. I like that a lot, actually, coming from Dan Milstein, Andre Kuzmenko's agent, because it reminds me a lot of the Shane Wright situation in Seattle, where a lot of people were questioning what was going on with Wright in his first season in the NHL, which wasn't even considered a season in the NHL. He played in the NHL, the AHL, the AHL playoffs, the OHL playoffs, the OHL regular season, and the World Juniors split between each of these teams going from team to team to team to team. He was up and down all over the place, and everybody was watching this saying, wait, what's going on? Why are they just not playing him in one spot? But the Seattle Kraken... The coaching staff, Wright's own family went out there and said, yeah, no, we're good. We have communication. We know what's happening. We are not concerned with the way Wright's season is going, where he's getting scratched and sent up and down and going to the OHL and the World Juniors and everything. The fact that Andre Kuzmenko's agent is going to go out there and say, yeah, no, we're fine. That's a good thing. For all the Canucks fans that are going out there concerned about Andre Kuzmenko's deployment, his development, his success or lack thereof in the bottom six or the top six, this is all you need to see. The agent is going out there and saying that this is okay, and there is a plan in place. Andre Kuzmenko is learning. There are a few minor adjustments to be made. The Canucks were not going to mess with a winning lineup that was so good two nights ago in Nashville, so against Dallas, this is okay. We'll see Andre Kuzmenko most likely against the San Jose Sharks back in Rogers Arena when the Canucks are home, and the Canucks have the luxury of that last change. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this entire process here. Andre Kuzmenko is scratched again. The agent has spoken out. He's very positive about the situation. I hope you enjoyed this video. Show. And bye.